Okay, there was something that was super cool to watch for me in golf. And this, this has happened to me before. And it's this rule deal with uh, Daniel Berger at the 16th hole, Players' Championship. He hits his second shot and it slices, pushes or slices into the water. And he's trying to take a drop. And if you know the whole, like, it's, it curves around to the right a little bit. And Victor Hovland and Joel Damon are debating with Daniel Berger about where he is going to take his drop. Now, this is not Patrick Reed. So if it was Patrick Reed, I think we would all say, you're wrong, everybody else is right, and here we go. This is Daniel Berger. I haven't seen any rule infractions from this guy ever. So who knows what's going on, but and who knows what inter kind of strife he may or may not have with Victor and Joel. We don't know, and we don't know how the round is going. Do they like each other or do they not like each other? We don't know. But it, regardless, this, this is what I find interesting is Daniel Berger hits his ball, and from behind on the camera angle, we get a quick look at the kind of the shot tracer. And to say the least, Daniel Berger wanted to take his drop much closer to the green than Hovland and Joel thought he should. And now Daniel is the ultimate really authority here because it's his shot. So it's really up to him where he takes his drop. But in the spirit of the game, you want to be you know, above board. You want to make sure you're taking a fair and accurate drop. So he's trying to do that. Now, here's where I, where I have a problem is Victor Hovland is much more vocal about everything. Like he's the talkative guy. He's in there. He's getting involved way too much if you ask me. And he's really kind of like strong arming or trying to strong arm Daniel Berger into where the drop should be. He's like, no, no, no. Like he's real adamant about it as if he knows everything. Yet, how much, like you're not as a player, you're watching the guy, you're off at a different angle. You're not standing directly behind him. So you don't necessarily see where the ball crosses. You're off to the side a little bit. And yet he's so adamant that he's right about where this drop should be. And Daniel is frustrated. And I've, I've been in this situation. I've been in a situation where, um, you know, I'm with, I'm in an event. And one of the rules officials is telling me what to do in a drop situation. And he was wrong. He was totally wrong, and I knew the guy was wrong. And I'm like, dude, this is not, this is not right. Like, you're wrong. And he's like, no, no, I'm right. No, yes, I'm the rules official. And he strong on me into taking a drop that I fund, I disagreed with. Now, what I should have done, and I could have done, um, you know, in these events, you're allowed to play two balls. I don't, you're not allowed to do that. Let's say on the PGA Tour, you have a rules official there. But even the rules official came out and he's like, look, I didn't see anything. You guys have to determine where the best spot for the drop is. So what do you do with this? As a player, as a player, you are allowed to take the drop where you believe you should take the drop. Now, if there's consequences later, you're going to have to live with those. Like if, if the camera guy picks it up perfectly and is able to determine something different and you're in that scoring tent, you're gonna have to make an adjustment. And if you took an incorrect drop, there's either a disqualification or another penalty that would be assessed on top of that. So you have to be willing to uh, you know, accept those consequences as the player. But the camera angle at least gave Daniel Berger a case for his argument. So he kind of conceded, did it in between, but the huge problem I have is that Victor Hovland was too vocal in how adamant he was about his, what he thought was right or wrong. Like, I don't think one player should be able to, you know, overrule another guy just because he's a more vocal 
talkative person. Joel Damon kind of said his thing and then went about his way, whereas Victor Hovland was in there too much. You don't need to be that involved in it. So when it comes to rules like that, man, I really struggle. Like, I don't think you should be allowed to call in from television. They've, they've outlawed that. The camera, should the camera be able to overrule the player? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think the camera should be able to overrule. I do think the camera should be able to help and assist and say, hey, the camera kind of picked it up here. But if the player says, no, I'm doing it here. This is what I saw. This is what I believe. This is what, from my perspective, this is exactly what happened. Then I think the player should have that freedom to say, no, this is where I'm going to take my drop because this is what I saw. That's what golf is all about. And so I think that's where Daniel, I think should have stuck it, stood his ground and say, no, no, I'm, I saw the ball because look, you're watching your other competitor hit, but you're not anticipating the guy's about to hit it in the water. So you're not really going to take that good of a look. And in competition, you're really not watching. I don't watch other players swing in competition. I don't, I don't want to see their swing because it can mess me up because I've had that happen in the past where I'm like, oh, wow, they do this or they do that or I'm looking at their swing. It messes up my rhythm, my tempo, my timing. A lot of times I'll see a player swing and I'm like, oh, wow, I really like their, their tempo and then I try to do it in my own swing and in competition, <laughs> I've done that before. In competition, you start trying to do things that other people are doing. Like, wow, I really like how they do that. I'm going to... I'm going to try that just subconsciously. Like I even consciously I'll do things like that. Like, like we do that. And so I really make a conscience effort. I don't watch your swing. So I'm just kind of looking down and then they hit and I look up and I, I try to like, is there a ball going in the bushes? So then I try to watch it to see if, if I have to help look for it. That's what I do. But other than that, I really don't pay attention. And in a competition, on that scale, I probably wouldn't even watch because there's plenty of other people watching the ball. He's got himself, his caddy, fans, other people. I'm not gonna watch where his ball goes. I'm gonna be into my own thing and that's what I'm focused on in my own world. So I don't know how Victor Hovland could watch his ball so intently that he knows exactly where it crossed the line to the point where I'm gonna argue with you so that you don't take a drop that you shouldn't get. Like that 40, 50 yards is going to be the difference between he, they weren't going to win or anything, but yeah, it's a lot of money, but to be so invested in that is, uh, is it just leads me to believe that you want the guy to make a bogey or worse. Like that's what you are looking for. And to me, I I'm never rooting for somebody to to be in a worse position than they are. Even if we're in the lead competing for the, I'm not going to root that, oh, you need to be, you need to get a bogey here. You need to back it up. You, this is my money that you're about to take. It's not about that. I don't need to get so invested that's going to affect my game. And I feel like that's exactly what happened with Victor Hovland and these situations. So when you're in a situation, I, I encourage you, Stick to what you believe, drop where you believe you should drop and do just have the utmost, you know, integrity for the game that you could possibly have and go from there and live with it regardless. All right. If, whether they like it or not, I'm not trying to make you happy here. I'm trying to be, have integrity and do exactly what I saw. This is what I saw. You may not have seen that, but that's what I saw. I was directly behind my ball. I saw the shape of it. I felt my shot. Nobody knows how much it curved more than me because I felt it and saw it. And as a professional, I'm going to drop it here because this is exactly where it, it should be dropped. And if you have a problem with that, you're going to have to figure that out on your own. But I know in my own heart, my integrity, my honor of the game is putting me right here. Now, that that's what I would do. And I've, I've been in similar situ situations. So let me know what you, you thought should have happened there. Comment below. And uh, other rule things that you, you, 
see that need to be uh, addressed.